Good morning, Farmington High School. Today is Friday, April 20th, and welcome to the Early Bird. I'm Dallas Walker. And I'm Reed Petrie. Today's lunch choices are a cheeseburger or grilled cheese sandwich. P7 meets after school on Tuesday in the library. A variety of local scholarships are available in the Counseling Center. One example is the Otwell Scholarship, which is due April 24th. Seniors submit any information about scholarships you have received to Ms. Kirkendall so they can be announced at awards night on May 7th. The talent show is tonight at the PAC beginning at 7 p.m. Tickets are sold at the door and are $5 for adults and $3 for students. 17 acts are vying for the title of audience favorite along with other prizes. Fayetteville School District sponsors an ACT prep course for rising 9th through 12th graders from May 25th to June 8th. And yes, classes are held on Memorial Day. For more information, you can check out the posting under the FHS Counselors section on the Fayetteville High School website. Making a Makers Camp for Teens invites creators, designers, inventors, engineers, and builders to participate in their week-long camp from June 18th to 22nd. The cost is $100. One way to enroll is by going to nwafablab.com. Members of the class of 2019 have until today to turn in their petitions if they are interested in running for a class office position. Voting will be on April 24th and 25th via Google Classroom. Auditions for the Crimson Select Ensemble, Honor Choir, take place on April 25th to 27th and May 2nd to 4th. If you're interested in trying out, sign up for a time in the main office. Auditions will be in the middle school choir room. If you have any questions, contact Ms. Jackson. If you're interested in taking NY classes next fall, applications are available in the Counseling Center in due May 1st. FCCLA members interested in attending Naturals Career Day at Arvest Ballpark on Wednesday, May the 2nd should see Ms. House as soon as possible. Now here's a quote to think about from a former First Lady who passed away earlier this week. Cherish your human connections, your relationships with friends and family. Barbara Bush. That's all for this edition of The Early Bird. We conclude Mental Health Awareness Week with this final mental health moment. By me. J.K. Rowling is one of the most known authors there is, for she wrote the extremely popular book series Harry Potter, but people may not know that she battled with depression, and that depression led to her creating the series. Reflecting back, she said, depression is the most unpleasant thing I have ever experienced. It is that absence of being able to envisage that you will ever be cheerful, the absence of hope, that very deadened feeling which is so very different from feeling sad. Sad hurts, but it's a healthy feeling. It is a necessary thing to feel. Depression is very different. As an unemployed single mother, she began writing Harry Potter with the thought of, what have I got to lose? Through counseling and writing about the fantasy world of Harry Potter, she managed to overcome depression and turn her poor and even suicidal lifestyle into one where her net worth is almost $1 billion and her creation has been loved by almost half a billion people.